weekend What's good everybody? What's poppin'? It's your girl and I'm sitting here with the Molly Marty Baller. Sitting I mean, here in the flesh. What's up? I, I smoke a lot of sheets, so she meant Bob Molly. That's the vibe you got over yeah. the street. Yeah, yeah not Marty for Baller. real strong. Hello, it's, it's me. Not strong. It's me. But um what's poppin'? So okay. Your name is Marty Baller. Yes. Give Baller. me your definition of what a baller is to you. Baller is just a professional person that knows how to carry themselves, you know, conduct business. It's not literally balling <laughs> as in wasting money, it's just being a professional businessman. That's mm -hmm. what I mean. So I'm a baller. <laughs> so on your new on your new project, Ooh. International Baller, yes, you said you have five songs dedicated to your international fans, correct? Yeah. So I know one is obviously Paris. Yeah, Harlem to Paris, Harlem to China. Mm -hmm. So what are the other ones? Let the fans um, know. Well, the whole tape was dedicated to my overseas fan. Yeah. That's, that's why it's called International Baller. So every song on there is like, I went to Europe and I did a song in every city, you know, Paris, London, um, Rome, Italy, Milan, shouts out to the whole Europe. And that's why I felt like I needed to just drop a tape. Okay, so wait, you went overseas. What was your favorite place to visit me? Milan, cause like they gave me mad clothes and like. What are clothes? I, yeah, I love I love Italian food, so I love Italy, so that was a vibe. What's your favorite Italian dish? I'm asking for this. Um, it's different, cause American is chicken parmesan. They don't have chicken parmesan. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, they don't have. They don't they have. That's not a, such a dish. They laugh at Americans, cause our Italian food is fake. My favorite yeah, joint is probably like, I don't know, I like wine. I like the wine, I guess. The wine is mad cheap, <laughs> yeah, yeah. like $3. It's straight up. Pretty much. Word. Okay. Okay, so you seem like a guy who stays pretty true to his roots. You rap Harlem, you know, the name died. Okay, given the, if the fame ever gets to be too Ooh. much, you ever see yourself moving out of Harlem? Ooh. Um, I always want to keep a crib in Harlem, like, just so much. The essence, like, the essence of Harlem is different. Everywhere I travel in the world, they all want to come to Harlem, so I keep a crib in Harlem, but I also get cribs in like, California and different places, Atlanta and shit. If you could live in another place for the rest of your life, what would it be? Right now, it would probably be Switzerland. Shout out to Switzerland, man. You know the vibes, man. You got that chocolate? Yeah, I love Switzerland. It's just architecture. Everywhere is, like, beautiful. It's beautiful out there. So I'll go there to get low from everybody else. <laughs> okay. So on um on one of your songs you mentioned that you're basically not really fucking with these these other rappers basically. Yeah. Does that mean like could okay, so basically you're known for only working with people that you know and that you're close with, right? Right. Do you see yourself ever working with somebody that you don't know too well outside of the music industry or anybody you have a plan to work with? Um it depends on their vibes really like right? I got a whole company, so I only work with people that I bring up through my company. But if the opportunity comes and a person match my vibes, then I'm down. I'm totally down for that. Can you share with us the importance of like working with people that came up with um, the good sides, the bad sides? You just want you don't want yes men in your circle. You want people that's gonna tell you no sometimes too. So I like keeping my day ones around me, so they they, they keep me. In, you know what I'm saying? Keep me in check. Last question. So in one of your videos, you had this cool little, right? You know the little bubbles that uh, yeah, my girls bubbles. Put in their I still do that. that. I rock that. That's my style. Shout out to Snoop Dogg and the Booyah Tribe. That's where I got the hairstyle from. But I, I dyed my hair red, trying to be cool. My hair fell out, so like now I'm waiting for it to grow back, so I can get my vibes back. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. He put the camera on him. He always want to be in competition with me with the heavy. Yeah, that's my brother KP, man. Shout out to KP. Yeah. Alright, guys, we're done. It's been Marty Baller. Make sure y'all go check him out. Make sure y'all